Seiko training course, controlling and replacing timing belts and automatic tensioner. Belt disassembly. Disconnect the battery earth cable. Remove the components that prevent access to the timing belt, protection case, auxiliary belt, hoses. Rotate the drive shaft to align the marks on the drive shaft with the timing shaft. Loosen the tensioner bearing and move it backward. Remove the timing belt and inspect it. Remove the tensioner bearing and the fixed guide bearing. Components check. Check the wear of the gears and replace any defective part if necessary. As part of the normal maintenance procedure, replace the tensioners and the pulleys. Check for leaks of oil or cooling fluids, as their presence is harmful for the life of the belt. Check the wear of the water pump pulley for possible leaks of fluid. Let us analyze the causes and effects that may lead to the belt damage or break. Cut teeth, low tension. Detach teeth, excessively low tension, loss of tension. Worn out lap, excessively low tension, loss of tension. Worn side, misalignment. Worn out back, blocked rigid component. Irregularly broken cord, excessively high tension. Worn teeth, irregular tension, irregular pulley profile. Cracks on the back, excessive heat, incorrect belt structure. Detached and or swollen teeth, contamination. Sharply broken belt insert, crimped belt. Timing belt setting and installation. Fit the new automatic tensioner and the fixed guide bearing. Remove the oil pump bolt and insert the timing tool stud. Fit the timing belt. The arrows on the left, if any, should be directed in the direction of rotation. Install the timing belt in the following sequence. Guide pulley, camshaft gear wheel, injection pump gear wheel, water pump tensioning roller. Install the timing tool on the driving shaft pinion. With small moves, bring the pin of the driving shaft gear wheel into the tool hole. In this position, piston number one is in TDC. Make sure the timing notches on the camshaft pinion are aligned. Make sure the belt is correctly tightened on the pinions on the side that is not tensioned. Mechanical tensioner setting. This operation should not be underestimated as, if the tensioner is not positioned correctly, first the belt, then the engine will be damaged. When acting on the pinion bracket of the belt tensioner, the mobile indicator should be positioned on the maximum setting. Tighten the nut of the belt tensioner pinion M825NM, M1050NM, remove the timing tool, rotate the drive shaft two turns in the normal direction of rotation to bring back piston number one to the TDC. This operation allows to set the belt in the pulleys. Check the timing locations, loosen the tensioner nut, lever the tensioner bracket to align the mobile indicator and the locating notch, 
tighten the nut of the belt tensioner pinion M8 25nm, M10 50nm, reassemble the other components in the reverse order of the disassembly sequence. Every day, the Deco power transmission systems power millions of engines worldwide. The continuous evolution of production technology, the investments in research and development, the ongoing controls on materials and the automatic process control all guarantee the highest quality of all Deco components. Deco, technology and quality available to the leading vehicle manufacturers worldwide. Deco, the leader of power transmission systems for original equipment, guarantees the original quality to the aftermarket. Deco, the original power in motion.